been only shots on target, but we've seen two goals from backs come from the walkie to side. Yeah, this is a foul that has been given to the Diredawa side. A little bit of uh, an overreach by uh, Gorku Abdel Karim. Comes back into the midfield. And Alec Bede. Now pushing it onto the left, onto the right side. It's off the field of play. It's going to be a throw-in that will be given to the Diredawa side. So the man who's going to be taking it is Zerebe Kibede. Now remember, there's Elias Mamo in there who has come in for Surafel. He came in for Aschalo Girma. Aschalo Girma, but Richmond Adongo has come in for Surafel. And uh, that change uh, should be bringing the desired results, uh, Gilbert. But we are not seeing th those results at the moment. Yeah, I think they need to move the ball more faster and uh, try to at least uh, align themselves with the, the new inclusion of Ladongo at the top. Because he's one hell of a player, uh, has got a lot of try to at least uh, align themselves with the, the new inclusion of Ladongo at the top. Because he's one hell of a player. Uh, has got a lot of power in his feet and he only knows how to control the ball I mean how to pick the ball in front of him and be able to exact his uh, his prowess in the attack well it's back into the midfield uh, and uh, very many purple shots are coming in there to try and win possession and they're stringing better passes with the Diridawa defense being caught um, in a frantic effort to get the ball out Little touch here by uh, Tesfai Milak who sends it off the field of play. It's going to be a throw in. And then Elias Mamo has now been tasked with the responsibility of providing the passes. And uh, Richmond Rogers Adongo in the midfield is now providing a little bit of a physical prowess to take on the big defenders of Walkite. So much so that, yeah, it becomes a little bit of a struggle and that pull is penalized for a free kick. It's coming from Siom Tesfai, so he knows now that uh, uh, a physical encounter will probably result in a 50-50 result here. Oh, Nanjebo has gone down, intimating that he has been punched in the face. It first looked like a very playful kind of uh, touch on each other. And then uh, Nanjebo goes down. Here it is again. It's uh, uh, and Nanjebo then remembers that he has been hurt there. <laughs> Thomas Simretu <laughs> and Nanjebo in a little bit of an exchange there. I don't know. It's a late decision by uh, Nanjebo that he's injured. Simretu didn't need to throw his hands there. Nanjebo didn't need to throw his hands at him. Players do very crazy things, Gilbert. It's, I mean, you're leading two by two goals, and you know that. Uh, Nanjebo will definitely do something to get the attention of the referee. You just need to avoid that. Well, I don't know if it merits staying down for so long. I don't know if it merits staying down that long. It could have had an impact, yes. But initially, it looked like it's just a playful way of trying to get each other out there. We know there are defenders and strikers. They don't like each other very much in that, uh, in that box. <laughs> So I don't know. We got two goals in this game here. The right, cross coming from the left side, punched in by Amy Mohammed in his first touch of the ball after being coming in as a substitute in the 30th minute. And then this shot from the right side, a very nicely powered shot by Abu Bakar Sani <laughs> in the 58th minute, compounding the problems of Fisaha Tumelisan, the head coach of the uh, Diridawa side. There's going to be a free kick here. Nanjebo will probably be walked off the field of play. Got to get medication here. But they, they had a little bit of a push on each other. Nanjebo telling him not push. And then that left hand going on to his mouth. I think he feels the pain belatedly. <laughs> uh, he's going to go through the protocols of a concussion. To see whether or not he's got vision and all that. The free kick. Mamo will pump it directly into the wall and then get the return ball.
This is uh, on the right side of the attack for the Walkita side. We've had just about five minutes of uh, frenzied action, but not related to football in terms of uh, attacks to earth goal. Here is a crosser. It was being waited for by Abu Bakr Sani. Many orange shots in that box now, clearing the ball out for a throw in. Uh, get through ball down on the right side with the flag staying down as well. Uh, they were trying to get to uh, Abu Bakr Sani, weren't they? Yeah, there's a huge disconnect between the Diridawa midfielders. There is a shot again. It just goes uh, not on target. But they're setting it up very nicely. With then Okayele, the man who was setting it up. They're giving a lot of room, especially for uh, Walkite in and around the box. There is no tight marking. There's very loose marking. And the shots are coming in handy. Muhyiddin Musa on the left side. Does well to try and uh, get it back on his favorite foot, the right one, but it doesn't deliver what is desired up at the front. It goes out for a throw in. Still going to be for Dinah Dawa. Benjamin Petros is the one who takes it. Now they've got uh, Mamo helping in uh, becoming the fulcrum at the midfield. Ball down on the right. Well, Adongo suddenly being caught in that uh, one, two, three connection passes from the well, Kita side. And now they've also made it pretty obvious that they will try and get the balls out to the right side, which has been very effective for them. They've completed 218 passes. I mean, uh, just a few of them were incomplete. And that makes for 75% uh, pass completion and 68 for the Dira Dawa side. Which is a true reflection, Gilbert, of what's going on on the field, isn't it? It is. It is a true reflection of what's going on the, on, on, uh, on the field. Wolkite have uh, organized themselves very well de uh, defensively. They drop back in numbers and when they're attacking, they're very, very fit. I mean, uh, fast off the blocks. For Dira Dawa, there has been a big disconnect between their defense and their midfielders. As soon as they lose possession at the top, they don't draw back immediately, therefore, they have uh, Volkita having numbers uh, in the attack. Oh, that's an easy steal here by the did a dower side, but they don't make use of it. Maybe Mama will make it better for them. At least he's got uh, the flow in the midfield back for did a dower. They try to push it through the center. This is Muidin who's uh, come onto the right side. Now looking for a cross from Zenebe Kebede. Uh, Kebede himself, I think, is going to be penalized for a foul. That is going to be given to the Wokita side. Seems to have uh, gone a little bit heavily on uh, Abu Bakar Sani. Yeah, just pushed onto him on the back. And was on the verge of committing a second foul here. It's away from scene of gripe. Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't want to be associated with it. But he's a guilty man, so it's not a big deal. He's going to be caught in it. The fans are still excited here for Kita. They know it's just about 17 minutes more, and they will take away three points from this one if the scoreline remains the same. And they know that Dira Dawa have to score at least three goals to be able to deny them any points in this one. And even if they were to get them to share, then uh, they would need to score two goals. Sani, one goal at, uh, after three goal attempts. And stretch it off the field of play. We will get attention from there. Fresh instructions being issued by Fisher Sumelisan. You can call him Fisaha. Mamo pushing it further forward for uh, the side. And this going off the field of play for a throw in. It's going to be for uh, the Didedawa side. They need to find the kind of progressive passes that they can get them into trying to shoot because they need the goals. They are on a minus one goal difference with 11 goals for and 12 goals against, and they have only 10 points. They're playing a team that has 12 points and a plus one goal difference. 
you add the two they've scored so far, they will be at plus three goal difference. And if they take the points, then they will have 15. Now, that would probably take you right up to the fifth or the sixth position. So they know they need those points. They've got to work for them. Here is Wolkite. Worku is falling back into a defensive formation. This is going to be offside on Heno Kayele. Well caught by uh, second assistant, Kahun Fitzum. Oh, very know. marginal. No, perhaps. no, it's not marginal. There's no offside there. <laughs> <laughs> On the VAR, <laughs> there's absolutely no offside. Maybe the but, finger. Yeah, no, there's, there's nothing there. But you know, the referee sees it. Was, uh, <laughs> Out of nowhere, he pulls it to drop out of shot. And Dina Dawa are suddenly trying to get themselves back into this game. Uh, well, where did that shot come from, and where was it hidden, and what was he waiting Gives an the speed of Prime position to get gamma to come back. Dura one, well, Kita two, and a fall here again. Elias Mamu goes down. A lot of instructions will be coming in here as well. The big man Thomas Simretu is also down. Now, who is injured? Who has caused it? Is the big question here. Everybody's following the referee. I don't know for what reason. Has to get himself out of there and have the players, first of all, get medical attention. Simret is already on a yellow card. He is on a yellow card, Simret. If he gets another one, he's going to be in trouble. I think that's why the Wokita players are trying to shield him from anything. I'm, I'm, I'm not uh, yet party to what happened there. I think there's going to be, ah, that's Simretu coming in so hard. I mean, Simretu is in trouble. Not because of the injury. He's in trouble of being red carded. That's the elbow. He's charging from behind. He's coming on a physical contest. The coach not happy with it. Simretu is already on a yellow card. And that is why he has to stay down. But uh, I think there's going to be trouble for Simretu. Not two ways about it. If the referee gives it as a foul, to uh, the Diradawa side, then Simbretu would be getting a second yellow card. Let me make a substitution here. The Elias Mamo uh, has been uh, asked to do something, I think, of grooming the set of the field of play. There's something that he has that uh, the referee thinks he shouldn't be having. Oh, he came out of the, uh, onto the field of play. The set of the field of play. There's something that he has that uh, the referee thinks he shouldn't be having. Oh, he came out of the, uh, onto the field of play without permission. He was already out of the field of play. There's a chance here. And this goes out. It's going to be a goal kick. The amount of cut calls there are in this game, Gilbert. Well, a lot of things that are happening within a span of very, very few minutes. Tensive moments for goalkeeper Jamal Tesso in the World Cup. You know, there's uh, actually uh, a problem here, and I think a yellow card has been issued. Eh? Out for that player who played the ball when the ball was out of the field. Yep, I think it's Muidin uh, uh, Musa has been yellow carded. Yep. In the 77th minute of the game. Out of the hook. Who's out of the hook? The big man, Thomas Simretu. You sure about that? Out of the hook. He's already on the field of play. 
Okay. <laughs> Maybe he is now. I think it's uh, Fraser Casa was yellow carded in the 77th minute. So it's not Muidin. Oh, There's going to be a lot of physical challenges coming into this game. Yeah. The falls can be nasty, and occasionally you fall on the fingers as well. That's why you see uh, in, uh, in normal physical contact games, including rugby and all that, you know, the players would occasionally wrap their fingers with uh, cello tape and all that. But this one is uh, a foot that is wrapped into another tackling foot. That gets Wolkita to have one man down on the ground. And the pain of it all and the number of minutes played as well don't make it very comfortable. You know, you see oh. it on this other side and you know how dangerous it was from uh, Yared Zonede. Oh, Fisher, not a happy man, Gilbert, not a happy man here. You can see it from his face. The facial expression will tell you that uh, he's really not happy, especially with his uh, captain, Yared. Uh, well, the captain is the saying Dana. he didn't do anything, yet we know that uh, <laughs> Wajir Meki is out on the field of play because of that injury. And unfortunately, with television, you get to see exactly what happened there as well. It's picked up by Dedadawa. Trying to pump the ball forward. Richmond at Dongo has it. It's pushed a little bit. Uh, it's pushed it a little bit too far from himself. Can't get to it. And uh, lost possession of it again. Jamal Tassel will take it. Being urged by Richmond at Dongo. <laughs> to quickly send it forward. <laughs> It'll be a foul here. By Enokayele. You would think that these two teams are sworn enemies because of the kind of tackles that have, have emanated in this particular game. <laughs> oh, it's another tackle that's going to go Ori here. With Abu Sani down on the ground. And this is what I'm thinking. The referee must take control of this game. He Gilbert. should He's got to dish out the cautions. Yeah, he needs to stop. Because if he does it, it goes on. Yeah. I, I think from the moment he didn't do anything to Thomas Simbretu, I mean, every, anything goes here now. Look, uh, that, that's a yellow card challenge great. as well. Uh, that should be on Daniel Demise, who already has three yellow cards from before. Otherwise, the players themselves will start getting incensed, and tempers with fl will flare here. Abayne Mulat, the center referee, must take control of the game. Second time we're seeing the stretcher being uh, gotten onto the field. And uh, Demisi has three fouls committed in this game. But you know, the other statistics would say that he's got already a yellow card. Uh, it's not even one or two, he's got three yellow cards already. Daniel Demisi. That's a foul, no That's, doubt about it. Yeah. It was two out on Abu, on Abu Bakr Sani. Richmond tries to get his men away from there. Like, let's play the game. We need to get a goal to be able to get uh, things level here. Oh, and the captain, I think, uh, tries to get in there. And uh, ultimately, the card is given to Demisie, who now picks up his uh, fourth yellow card in the Ethiopian Premier League. You know, the tempers are bound to go up now because it's uh, the 82nd minute of the game and uh, Dina Dawa have just pulled one back. And, uh, well, Kita would want to stay on top here. This clearance is what it was meant to be. We'll leave uh, Abubakar Sani as an injured man there. Now, there's always a lot of complaint from the players. It's as if the referee is not on this field. It's as if there is no, you know, somebody in control of the of the game. Too much explaining. Yeah. Just too much explaining here. He went so high up. It's a high boot, actually. It's not even Abu Bakr Hassan. It's Aime Mohammed, the man who scored the first goal, not the one who scored the second one. It's Aime Mohammed who's uh, gone with a very, very high boot there. And uh, there's complaints coming in from the defense as well. Complaints coming in from the other side as well. 
free kick has been given. I think a yellow card has been dished out. I'm not exactly sure to who. It must be Amy Mohammed who was yellow carded. I mean, he just went too high up. Uh, again, did Adawa try to come in for a change here? So many feet try to go for this ball. Nobody exactly gets into it. Uh, Did Adawa looking for uh, a chance here to make amends with Mohammed getting yellow carded. This is going to go, uh, going to be a call for uh, an offside here. Longwood down on the right side. Yeah, he's offside. You can see it on your picture. Amy Mohammed is way offside, trying to get in there before the ball even gets there. Comes to the right side now. Is a casa and Okayele plays it back into the midfield for uh, the wall kitter. Uh, there's no advantage given here, so it's going to be a free kick. And uh, yeah, the referee now is dishing them out. Uh, he gives a yellow card to Minyamir Petros, who picks up his fourth one now. The one I don't understand is uh, the one for, uh, <laughs> this is obvious, <laughs> uh, just, just block it. But I still don't understand how Thomas Simretu did not get a second yellow card. And I'm not I'm wishing the team anything negative. It's just yeah. that it's a game. And that's the way it should have been going. It should have, it should have gone to, I mean, it should have been gone to the showers by now. I'm not sure why, why uh, Polkita in a frenzy mode because uh, they are leading and only, the only thing they need to do is to try as much as possible to hold possession of the ball because now uh, Dire Dao have decided to play what we call power play. They are trying to find the top striker at the top and uh, what they have uh, not done well is the, the second balls are being won by I'll Walkita. tell you why Walkita is playing the way they are and with so much uh, physical prowess and all that it's a it's a it's a it's a mindset that's what they came they came to the game with that we're gonna push them we're gonna pump them we're gonna hit them hard and so even when they're leading they're thinking if we don't hit them hard we're gonna lose something and just the fact that uh, the dire dawa side has already pulled one back has already made them edgy they think they're gonna lose at least two points out of this game if they draw it a good ball down on the right side arita muna is the man who has it he's got experience he'll get a corner for his uh, troubles Apologizes to his men as well who are coming in to try and go for the kill. So Richmond, Rogers, Adongo, the Ghanaian, and Itamuna, Kemuni, the Namibian, are now responsible for trying to get a point out of this game. Uh, they have about five minutes maximum in uh, regular time to be able to get it. Nicely weighted cross here. Good touch. Here is a chance to bring it back. Lovely way in which it has been taken by Daniel Demise, uh, the goalkeeper, Jamal Taseo. Had his hands on it, and uh, Jamal Tassel is the one who saves it from going into the net. The goalkeeper on the Walkita side is a suddenly a worker. That's the nickname of the side, the workers. And I think the chief worker would be Jamal Tassel. That punch, and ultimately that push out, even though he knocks himself against his own defender. That's actually the one that sends the ball off the field of play, Gilbert. It just informs you why he's only conceded seven goals. Look at look at Fisher. Out of the nine he matches that, that he's played. Have been getting it. He's almost <laughs> giving up and saying, "Look, uh, I don't know what else to do to get this guy ball into the net." Hey, did the, he walk into the dressing room or where did he go? Well, by the end of the day, that oh, hair, he went back to the bench. that little hair that is remaining on his head. Yes. I mean, if he continues pushing it for, uh, backwards, yes, he might be able to rip it off. Are you sure? Jamal <laughs> Tassel. <laughs> He should, he should actually thank his defenders because leaning back on his defender propels yeah. him uh, uh, further up to punch that ball out. But if there was no defender to lean on, he would have been coming down faster. That ball yeah. would have dropped into the net. So he's got his defenders to thank for what has happened just now. He bangs himself into one of his de defenders and that helps him stay in the air a little bit. The corner by Duret. Oh, the header! Enough men trying to go for the volley here. The last touch will be by Aime Mohamed. It's going to go out for a throw in, but it's going to be for Dira Dawa. They're realizing they need to work with speed here. Those are pensive moments, and what a world class save from Jamal uh, yeah. Taseo in that goal. 
This is going to be going back into the midfield for Jared Dow, who are still coming forward, blazing it out to the right side. Yared Zeunede. No, Denny, beg your pardon. The touch will make it uh, throwing. The touch coming off uh, Abdul Karim Warku. With Zenebe Kebede still pushing. It's going to be a substitution here almost in the 90th minute. Actually, the 90th minute. Uh, well, Kita seem like they're preferring to bring in another striker. I see Ahmed Hussein organizing himself there. This is then Okayele. He's got only one man to beat. He gets the return ball. Returns it onto the right side. And the easiest of chances to be converted by Aime Mohammed goes away. He scored uh, the most difficult of the chances, but he loses the easiest of chances. He Robert. should have buried this game. He should have buried this game. Three against two in the attack. Got another man injured here, the captain of his side, of the Wokita side. But look at this, Kayele. It's three against two. Nice one, two. Unselfishly and gives it out oh. to Aime. And Aime bangs it on the goalkeeper. The easiest of chances, Bernard. Easiest of chances. The goalkeeper is covering the near post. All you need to do is put the ball in the other direction. And he knows he should have buried this game, Ame Mohammed. Well, a chance to go three goals forward. Has just been lost. Five minutes of added time will be played in this one because we have we've had a lot of stoppage, especially in this second half. So <laughs> captain is still down on the ground. Heno Kayele will probably be going to receive some instructions, or would he be the one making way for uh, Ahmed Hussein? I think if that, that half will probably be going to receive some instructions, or. Would he be the one making way for uh, Ahmed Hussein? I think if that, that happens, it would just be to take away a few minutes of this game. But I think his one is going to be substituted. So Enoka Yellow will be coming out. And Ahmed Hussein will take his place in uh, the 90th minute of the game. Well, just to take off some, some minutes on the clock and also to bring in fresh regs. Uh, Ahmed Mohammed has always come in as a, a very good uh, second half uh, player. So more force up front. With a few minutes remaining, anything can happen, especially coming from the Okita side. They've decided to push, and they are pushing. It's going to go out for a throw in. And this is for uh, Dirida, uh, for Walkite. Isaha Simelisan. After a 3 0 win over the Adama side, needed to find out what his charges will do in today's game has to contend with one goal unless they can pull up a big surprise in this uh, very last minutes of the game they try to get Muhyiddin Musa forward a big run comes off the defender the game Neguse who covers his goalkeeper and cuts diagonally in front of the of the strikers goes out to the left side They've uh, employed a change of style, the uh, Diridawa side. This is the new substitute, Ahmed Hussein. Playing five minutes of the game here is all he will get. And here is a shot that is in the net. Oh, again, unexpectedly, I say it that the Wokita side could still spring a surprise here. In the five minutes that were remaining. But what a shot coming from the right side. Oh, they have reason to go and celebrate it. And Warku finally gets himself onto the score chart as well. After all the hard work that he does in the midfield, it's just good to see him getting a goal, Gilbert. The other side is Chris Fallen. They can't believe what is happening now. Oh, Fisaha is not a happy man. He wouldn't be, he wouldn't be. Look at that mistake. A ball is played to the goalkeeper. The defender here is clumsy. Gorku gets called of the ball. The goalkeeper comes out, picks the near post. And what, look at that. Well, Gorku is just faster. And he's also more technical in his, uh, in, in his application of the finish. He's the last man. Yeah. Freezer is the last man and you don't do these kind of tricks. 
ahead of your own goal. <laughs> and what a way for uh, Walkite to bury this one. Yeah, they've done what they needed to do. They will pick up the three points from this game and three goals as well. There'll be a plus four and 15 points, barring any natural calamity. Did a tower one and Walkite three. Oh, again, the defenders just committing the smallest of mistakes here. Mixing themselves up. This is the new substitute striker. Fraser Casa. I think feels a pinch of it all after all the work that he had done to try and salvage what was ultimately put into the net by Abdul Karim Warku. Going to be a foul here, which will be given to it is our I don't think they can pull anything out of this one Gilbert what's your summation of it well I think uh, the physicality and the quick counter attacks by Wolkite has worked for them in this particular one and uh, lack of precision at the top by I think uh, the physicality and the quick counter attacks by Wolkite has worked for them in this particular one and uh, lack of precision at the top by Dire Dawa has let down left them down in this match yeah, there was no doubt that they were not going to let off on that physical uh, prowess that they had, that they were using in this game. And that's why it's resulted into what we have seen at the moment. Uh, Simbretu is a lucky man, to be honest, to still be in this game. But uh, again, he's a recipient of the goodwill of the referee in this game so far. Started dishing out the cards slightly late. <laughs> but uh, when he did, he really had to bring it down to the controls. It's going to be a throw-in for Direta. We're chasing this one. Two goals. That uh, is the deficit. They cannot make it within the amount of time that has remained in this game. Uh, I think barring a natural calamity, well, Kita will run away with this one. They started off the left side. That's the man who brought in the cross that uh, was converted into a goal in the 39th minute of the game. Cut it into a goal in the 39th minute of the game. Control in the midfield, oh, and then again, will Kita take it? Warku has always been uh, one man short in that defense when the attacks were coming from this side. The advantage given to the Didadawa side, Richmond Adongo and Mamo trying to string up the passes that don't quite work out for them. Amy Mohammed will take it because of the field of play, it's going to be a throw in. And Okayela is uh, taking a well-deserved rest on the bench after coming off in the 90th minute, would you believe it? Midway for uh, Ahmed Hussein. He is offside, Ahmed Hussein. It's not going to work for him. It's going to be a restart for Dire Dawa. That sounds like the final whistle. It's been brought to a halt by Abayne Mulat. The Giaregal Yigzao takes the three points out of this match. And uh, Dira Dawa will uh, lose uh, their sixth match. And uh, again, this one was a shot.